Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your, your October 9th through October 15th weekly love reading. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, bits and pieces may resonate. I have pre-shuffled these cards so whatever falls out I'm going to go with. I have started a spiritual life feeds group on Facebook. If you want to join, I will be doing mini free readings every day. So if you get on there and you happen to be in the thread, I may choose you if you want to go check it out. Spiritual um, guidance live feeds on Facebook. It is a group. It's a closed group, so it's private. Um, and this is for Sagittarius. I have done an about me video as well. It tells you a little bit about me, how much I curse, what I don't like, what I do, how I do my readings, stuff like that. Just scroll back a little bit and you'll find the video. There you are, the center of your reading. That's the basis of your reading this week, and it just happens to be a Sagittarius. Things could be crumbling down this week. We have the tower right next to you. Um, things could be just falling apart, but it's a good thing. It's a blessing in disguise because we have a new chapter right ahead of you. So if something falls apart, just let it crumble. Don't, don't let it get you because it looks like, you know, it, it leads to something much better. We have the world right underneath that falling apart. All right, um, and it's meant to happen, okay? It is, because we have judgment right there, too. It's an epiphany. It's a breakthrough. So don't be scared when you see the tower card right next to you. This means that something is meant to break. Something is meant to fall apart so that you can start a new journey. It means that you have learned a lesson, a big one. When the world card comes out, and this is in the outcome position, when that card comes out in that position, it means that you have learned a major lesson. Celebrate your success this week, okay? Because you've learned something big, and it's time to start something new. A new lesson. Time to work on a new one. Okay, and that just happens to be a breakthrough for you. I think that you have. I mean, with the Nine of Wands here, there's been perseverance, okay? It has not been easy, all right? I think there's been maybe some jealousy. Maybe you've had somebody that was against you and just really maybe even vindictive, okay? Maybe a little bit mean, and I think that you... It's time for you, and you've persevered, you've stuck with them, and you've been, you've really just <laughs> learned from it, okay? You've learned from this harsh person, okay? And I think that now you may be just like walking away from them, being like, you know what, I'm, I, I don't, and I've, a lot of people are walking away, and I think it has to do with this, this full moon, this Aries full moon releasing what no longer serves you, because I... I see you starting over, starting fresh. Just be like, you know what? I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start at the beginning here. I'm gonna start over on something, and it doesn't involve you, <laughs> okay? Um, I think there's been some spitefulness, and you've persevered for, for through it, but you've learned from it, and you're starting over on something. Here we have strength. This is what it takes to get through it, and this is how you've persevered by by using your inner strength you've grown a lot i see that your your confidence is very high you've worked on yourself you have um worked on becoming more positive i think that um you've decided to refocus on your plan you've probably gone within and and really dug deep okay um Yeah, so you guys, and there's no more faking it. You can't fake it anymore. You can't. You could have a choice. This is now. This may or may not resonate with everybody, but you could have a choice between two people. This there could be a third party situation somewhere, or your friends could be involved. 
okay? Um, we do have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have a Pisces here. We have a Leo. We have a Libra. We have, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. The Leo is over here. We have uh, this person that is spiteful, maybe a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be anybody that has error in their chart. Um, either way, we have a, a bit of major arcana cards that tells me that a lot of this is divinely driven or divinely guided. This is part of the plan. Um, you know, it's like this was written, the script was written a long time ago, and you needed to learn this lesson to progress. And I think this week you are having a lot of courage. I think your courage is paying off. I think your perser your perseverance is pulling off is paying off. I think your resilience is paying off. I think um, the hard work that you have done on yourself to learn whatever this lesson is, is paying off. I think you are no longer ignoring a situation. And I don't do reverse cards because I consider all the reverse meanings during this reading. And while I'm talking, they're coming out. Like this one, I see this as being reversed. Okay, so this Two of Swords, I think that you're letting go of this ignoring of a situation you realize it and you're like you know what it's time for me to just start over okay i'm going to start fresh now um i'm going to take a more practical sensible approach i think that you've had some fears and you're letting them go and you're doing that because you have overcame them you have i think you have a lot of respect in yourself this week and it really really shows and i think that something is crumbling down because of your growth Okay, um, and I think that you're that, that this is a lot of karma here. There's a lot of karma here, and that you're just doing the right thing for you finally, finally. Um, and that's your major breakthrough, and that's part of the lesson is putting yourself first. And I think it has to do with self respect, respecting your needs, respecting your opinions, respecting your views. Perhaps you've had more than one person against you. Maybe that's why the Three of Cups is here. Maybe you've had a few people that were um, not on your side. And you're like, you've persevered through it. I think there has been something going on behind the scenes in your favor. Okay? In your favor, something's been brewing. And it's about to come out. If it hasn't come out already, and it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, you are gonna need courage to get through it. There could be a breakdown all of a sudden, and um, it's been working. It's been in the works for a while now. And maybe this week it finally happens, and you're gonna have to be courageous because it's gonna teach you something, which you've already learned. But it might be the the end of the the lesson where you finally really learned it, and you you jump into a new chapter of your life. And it's gonna, and you're gonna start at the beginning of a new lesson. Here we go. Now this is intended to be a love reading. So we could have uh, first, if you're single, or even if you're in a relationship, there could be. You know, your your relationship could be ascending to a higher level of commitment if you're already in one. If you're single, you could be making a choice. Maybe you had two people in before and you're making a choice between the two. There could be a strong union between you and another person um, that could lead to a commitment, okay? If you haven't met this person, if you get invited to any gatherings, go because you could meet them there. We do. This could be a new partnership. It could be also a gift of some sort from somebody. Okay, it could be a gift. It could be a gift from a Leo. It could be. Um, it's something new on a physical level. It could be some money you've been waiting for, or it could be a um, a new security or a new stability or a new abundance. But it's usually something on a physical level that makes you feel more secure. But it definitely could be a partner if you are single because it's connected to that. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. 
um, could be a Scorpio, but I do see you starting new. If this isn't already happening, it's in the near future. Something is ending, and I think it has to do with a major life lesson that you needed to learn. And I think it has to do with um, courage and confidence to believe in yourself and self-respect and to not doubt your opinions and who you are. Okay, and that's a major breakthrough for you. Okay, I think that's one of the lessons this week and that you've really overcome it. And I see that you're being rewarded. The tower may not seem like a reward, but it really is because it's a blessing in disguise. I think you've worked hard on something and something is going to happen that is going to, it could lead to a commitment or a um resurgence of a relationship or your relationship um, moves up to another level if you're already in a couple you know what I mean where you become closer with that person it could bring a lot of closeness to your relationship if you're with somebody this this breakdown okay but if you're single if you get invited to any events or any gatherings go because you could certainly meet the one all right um I'm going to get the next, I'm going to start shuffling the other cards. You may be feeling very giving this week. Feeling like you have a lot to offer because you're feeling so good about yourself. I, and like I said for another reading, because you are in the center of the reading, I think you're feeling living in your own essence very comfortably, very confident, very courageous, just really feeling very vibrant this week. And you do, you are starting something new. I think you're starting a new path. And it hasn't been easy. You persevered through some hard times. Okay. It looks like you guys are transforming and you may be feeling a lot more giving than you have in the past. King of Cups, Hierophant, Queen of Wands. This says King of Water, but it's the King of Cups as well. And this is part of the part of the lesson. I think a lot of you are opening your heart more. I really do because I can see that, you know, like with the giving, and I see a lot of kindness here and generosity, and and maybe a lot of you are becoming more spiritual or open to more spiritual um, work. Okay, because there's a lot of divine guidance here. Um, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. There is a lot of giving here. So maybe you guys are really giving your time and attention to somebody. Okay? Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I think we have all the signs here. So it really could be any sign. Um, we have Unity next, which is the Hierophant. It's about following your own path and not second-guessing second it. Okay? It's living in your own truth. All right? Um, it's also seeking guidance. Like I said, I think a lot of you may be becoming more spirit. A lot of you may be becoming more spiritual. You may be opening up more, listening to your inner guide, or seeking guidance, maybe even from a counselor or a spiritual counselor or from above, okay? This says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends, okay? I think a lot of you are becoming more one with yourself as well and that's a that plays a part in your self-confidence and your courage and your self-respect i think this week you're be you're very very vibrant okay then we have the queen of fire which represents you and this is a man or a woman and we do have it in the center as well which it, but it's the king of fire the king of wands so you come out prominently in this reading it just shows that you are very strong this week you are vibrating very highly in your own essence, okay? Your self-confidence, your self-respect and who you are is vibrating highly. People can see it. People can see how much you love yourself. And it's not a bad thing. There's not ego here. It's self-confidence. 
confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. And I think that's what's going on this week. You aren't underestimating yourself. It's like a transformation week for you. All right? Assert your independence and creativity. That is exactly what is going on this week. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Please feel free to join my group on Facebook to get free live readings. They will be mini readings, but you could get chosen. Talk to you later.